Crafting herbal remedies at home can be an incredibly rewarding endeavor, blending the art of natural healing with the science of plant-based medicine. However, even the most well-intentioned DIY herbalists can make mistakes that impact the safety, efficacy, or quality of their creations. By understanding these common pitfalls, you can avoid turning your herbal journey into a cautionary tale. One of the most frequent mistakes in DIY herbal remedies is failing to properly identify plants. Many herbs have lookalikes in the wild, some of which can be toxic. For example, Queen Anne's lace closely resembles poison hemlock, a deadly plant. Misidentification can lead to serious consequences, so it's crucial to consult reliable foraging guides, take identification courses, or work with a seasoned herbalist before harvesting plants from the wild. Even when sourcing herbs from reputable suppliers, ensure they are labeled correctly and are free from contaminants. Another common error is overlooking the importance of dosage. While herbs are natural, they are not inherently safe in unlimited quantities. A small dose of an herb may soothe and heal, while a large dose could overwhelm the body or even become toxic. For instance, comfrey contains alkaloids that may stress the liver if used excessively. Likewise, Overusing stimulating herbs like ginseng or adaptogens like ashwagandha can strain the body's natural rhythms. Always research appropriate dosages and understand that more is not always better. Improper preparation methods can also compromise your remedies. Many herbs require specific techniques to extract their beneficial compounds. Water-soluble constituents are best extracted through teas or decoctions, while alcohol tinctures are ideal for extracting alcohol-soluble compounds. For example, using a cold infusion for marshmallow root helps preserve its mucilaginous properties, while a decoction may destroy them. If you skip these nuances, you risk creating remedies that are ineffective or fail to capture the herb's full spectrum of benefits. Preservation is another area where DIY herbalists often falter. Homemade remedies, especially water-based ones like teas or creams, are prone to contamination and spoilage if not preserved correctly. Using distilled water, sterilized equipment, and appropriate preservatives such as alcohol or leucidal liquid can help extend shelf life. Neglecting preservation leads to microbial growth, which not only diminishes the remedy's efficacy but also poses a health risk. For creams and salves, mold or bacterial contamination is a clear sign of improper storage or insufficient preservation. Herbal blending is a delightful way to create synergistic remedies, but poorly planned combinations can result in clashes or even adverse effects. Certain herbs may cancel each other out, while others might amplify negative reactions. For example, combining multiple diuretics like dandelion and parsley can cause excessive fluid loss and electrolyte imbalances. Additionally, some herbs like licorice root interact with medications, amplifying their effects, or leading to complications such as high blood pressure. A solid understanding of herb interactions is essential when crafting blends. Another overlooked mistake is neglecting to consider the individual's constitution or health conditions when designing remedies. Herbs that are beneficial for one person may not be suitable for another. For instance, cooling herbs like peppermint may aggravate conditions in individuals with cold constitutions, while warming herbs like ginger could exacerbate heat-related issues. Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine principles emphasize tailoring remedies to the individual's unique needs, an approach that can greatly enhance the efficacy of your herbal creations. Storage practices can also make or break your DIY remedies. Herbs and finished products should be stored in dark, airtight containers away from heat and moisture to preserve their potency. Exposure to light, air or humidity can degrade the active compounds rendering your remedies less effective over time. Labeling your containers with the contents and the preparation date helps ensure you use them within their optimal shelf life and avoid confusion. Lastly, underestimating the power of research is a mistake many new herbalists make. While it's tempting to rely on anecdotal evidence or traditions, understanding the scientific basis for herbal actions is critical. Modern studies offer valuable insights into safety dosages and efficacy that can complement traditional knowledge. Reliable resources, such as herbal pharmacopoeias and peer-reviewed studies, can help you make informed decisions and craft remedies that are both safe and effective. Avoiding these common mistakes will set you on a path to creating high-quality, safe 
and effective herbal remedies. With a careful balance of respect for tradition and reliance on accurate information, your DIY herbal projects can flourish into powerful tools for natural healing. The key lies in approaching herbal medicine with both curiosity and caution, always striving to learn and refine your craft.